Hey guys, my name is Leila and uh, just to introduce myself for those who are first time on my channel, I'm a huge perfume enthusiast. And just to show you the level of my enthusiasm today, I want to show you my entire collection uh, of fragrances that have, I have never ever counted uh, because I don't know how many bottles I have uh, just because you know I'm afraid that if I do so I will lose my entire enthusiasm. Uh, however, I know that it's definitely more than 200 bottles. I'll not be able to talk uh, about each and every today because, you know, it will take ages. Um, I'll just show you how I store my fragrances, where I store them, and uh, I'll try to explain the logic behind the organization. The very first question, where I store my fragrances? I store my fragrances in the bedroom, uh, in that particular area, which is the walk-in closet area. And I think this is the best place to store my fragrances just because it doesn't have any direct sunlight. Uh, probably you know that sunlight is harmful to the fragrances um, and it's very important so it's very important to keep your fragrances in a dark place the second one is the temperature I try to maintain the same level of temperature and humidity year-round which is approximately 22 to 23 degrees and uh, my AC shows 22 but this um, sensor shows 23 and the level of humidity is normally more than 40%. It varies from 41 to 43, which is also very important because fragrances do not like spikes of temperature and humidity. And the third and the most interesting part, I think, let's go and I'll show you my entire collection. So as I said, this is quite a dark place, so I'll have to switch on the lights so you can see Ta-da! My entire collection. And I think it's better if I go behind the camera now so I can show you all my treasures. So now I'm behind the camera and we can start. And I want to start with this particular shelf here. Uh, it has all my fruity fragrances. And when I say fruity, I don't mean citrusy. And my fragrances for the beach and for the seaside. I think that's it. We're finished with this particular shelf and so let's move to the main part of my collection. Uh, let me tell you about the logic behind the organization um, you can see now. Um, like a couple of months ago I decided to rearrange my fragrances because before I used to store them in um, I, uh, I arranged them according to the brand name. But I found out that with that um, arrangement, I lose and forget about many fragrances. So I realized that the best option for me would be to rearrange them uh, according to the family they belong to. And um, so I did. And now it's really easy for me to find the fragrance that I want and I like that uh, fits my uh, mood for the day. And here, on the top shelf are all the fragrances um, that I categorize as uh, oriental and sweet jammy rose fragrances. You can see here I have um, not only designer brands but also the Arabic brands um, and pretty much the fragrances that I have here fall into category of um, oriental fragrances and if I have the mood for the oriental ones or a sweet jammy fragrances, sweet jammy rose type of fragrances, I uh, go to this shelf. Here uh, is the shelf with my uh, cheaper fragrances and uh, patchouli ones. I think they're quite close, that's why I uh, put them together, um, because sometimes uh, fragrances that contain uh, patchouli are um, categorized as cheapers, um, and uh, that's why I think uh, this particular note um, joins these two categories together. And next shelf is about the powdery and clean musky fragrances because uh, I also put them two together, this two type of fragrances, because I think they are quite similar and very often the musky fragrances um, can be powdery and vice versa. And I'm moving to this shelf, which is um, my fresh fragrances. I have all my fresh green uh, summer citrusy fragrances here um, and here is 
my empty shelf i have nothing here maybe you can suggest any category of fragrances i can collect to put here um, and here are the fragrances that i'm going to declutter uh, i'm going to get rid of sell or probably a giveaway so um unfortunately i'll have to say goodbye to all these fragrances and here we go to our display shelf this one is the uh, these are the bottles and fragrances that i find quite attractive that's why i put it on put them on the display shelf some shalimar uh, fragrances the sicily ones um amouage uh, kinzo fragrances here is a jungle elephant and here I have uh, plankers of Kinzo flower. This one is Kinzo Amour. I like this one. I like it a lot. The, the bottle and also the fragrance itself. Uh, I have uh, this fragrances from Maison Lancôme. Um, another one, really beautiful one about the honey. Um, it's a handmade, by the way, handmade bottle. Really pretty one from Moresque. Um, this one are two flankers these are not originals this, these are the flanker, flankers of uh, classic by jean paul gautier here i have my vintage uh, fabric 24 from hermes it's from 90s i can call it vintage already um, and it smells really vintagey uh, not like the new formula uh, i have here merchant of venice two fragrances about rose or Rose, rosa mosanig and another one is about white flowers and powder um, i have my oils uh, perfume oils from um, al harmain here um, i have my um, altar collection fragrances here are gorgeous green deep green like emerald green bottles from um, mark jacobs decadence and also this one from chopard it's a beautiful beautiful color bottle this is rose the uh, the uh, meal derby uh, beautiful fragrance and the bottle is also so heavy and the leaders are really heavy so really beautiful uh, packaging so uh, here I have a couple of fragrances from Moschino here are like the animal section this is the bears and this is the dog from Trussardi um, and here is a fragrance from Vince Camuto and I had this fragrance many many years ago when I bought it um, not blindly I bought it in the store Vince Camuto store when when I was buying my um, my shoes they were like cherry color and to pair it to pair <laughs> them with uh, you know with the fragrance I, I've chosen this one um, the thing is that at that time this fragrance was marvelous it was incredible i loved it i loved it i used almost half of the bottle and i gifted it to my sister and then i thought that i will buy it again and when i came back to the store to buy another one unfortunately it has been already discontinued somehow and um they didn't have it in the store for quite a long time and after many years they decided to um release this fragrance again in new formula and unfortunately this new, new formula has nothing to do with the old one and it's not it's not good at all as it usually happens unfortunately this one is from quinta canto again um this is again kinzo um world power intense i think this is how it's called not my favorite one but again just to, as a display um i like the bottle um it's quite <laughs> um weird by but 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 somehow it fits i think here and here are my two hidden gems uh also nice bottles and uh, this is one vintage fragrance also and we have finished with this part now we're moving to this one here are all my floral fragrances i categorize this shelf as floral and i always thought that i'm not a big fan of floral fragrances but it looks like i am here is the shelf uh, of my husband's fragrances and uh, i would say the 95 percent of the fragrances that you see here i would say maybe even 99 <laughs> are the fragrances that i purchased for him and this is what he actively uses that's why uh, we have separated to uh, different you know special um, uh, special shelf for him and uh, the next shelf is all about 
um, my vanillas and gourmand sweet um, delicious type of fragrances so here was my uh, shelf of sweet and gourmand ones and here is the shelf of um, the fragrances that we share together with my husband they're pretty much all um, uh, unisex fragrances and here I have fragrances about leather, uh, spices, and um, uh, incense, and oud. Um, and here is the part of the amber fragrances. So, um, and here I have uh, the empty boxes and some boxes that I'll have to get rid of. And here are the fragrances and uh, testers that I have. So I think this is pretty much all I wanted to show you today. I also have one more shelf on the ground floor. It has a couple of fragrances that I use sometimes when I'm in a rush uh, and I don't want to come here on the um, first floor. Um, and uh, also fragrances of my husband, just a couple of them. Um, but I would say the majority of the fragrances are here and I have shown them today. So tell me what do you think about my collection? How do you like it? Uh, I'll be waiting for your comments. If you liked it, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and support my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll be waiting for you next week with my next video. So see you guys. Bye.